Hello, this video is going to be about the DHAP Mini, which is a newer product from Harden Power Systems. It's a little bit smaller than the uh, the original device, and as you can see, it's made out of this uh, black resin material. It's actually 3D printed. You'll see all the cutouts here for the HDMI, sound port, Ethernet port, USB ports, cables, and then there's a uh, really handy voltage meter right here as well. So it looks like a, a pretty nice piece of equipment. We've actually already had this together and uh, I've just taken it apart today because I want to do a little bit of uh, cleanup. So as you can see this is the inside of the DHAP. I actually have two uh, of the 18650 batteries that they recommend. You do need to get the uh, Ultrafire 18650 batteries that they recommend on the site. I do have a couple of other batteries here uh, that I'll show you. These are uh, DE, deworld.com. Uh, these batteries are the same specification, however, they're much larger, so those will not work. All right, so you can see the uh, the different cables in there. Uh, one of those goes to the DVAP, and one goes to the Raspberry Pi for power. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple things. Uh, because I, the reason I took this apart was I had a problem getting everything to fit in there uh, the way that it was supposed to fit. And what I found was that the power cable for the Raspberry Pi, which is right here, sits right on top of that what looks like a little standoff right below those red wires. So that's not a standoff, that's actually the uh, the post where the uh, the foot on the bottom of the D hat screws in and the problem with that and with the thickness of this piece of the cable is that it doesn't allow the Raspberry Pi to sit down completely flush with the bottom and when that happens the HDMI port and the sound port don't line up appropriately with the uh, the cutouts that are made in there the other thing uh, that's pretty nice about this is that these uh, little yellow encircled areas are magnets and the way that this case closes up is magnetic. And so when this closes up, it uh, sticks together pretty well. I'm trying to get it apart and there we go, pops open. But it, uh, it does have enough magnetism to where it uh, sticks together nicely and you can get in there and get access to the Raspberry Pi and the DVAP and everything very easily. One other issue that I ran into is right here. This is the battery holders. Now the tolerances on these and the reason I said you do absolutely have to get the batteries that they recommend are because the tolerances are so tight. Um, once you have these batteries in they're fairly hard to get out. Unfortunately, there's not a charging circuit here, so you actually do need to take them out to charge them up. And in this case, with this one right here, it's actually broken off. So this one's fine. You can see this one and this one are fine. This one's actually broken off. Now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a big deal. It's uh, still working out fine. It holds the batteries in there uh, without a problem, so I'm not going to worry about that for now unless I lose another one or two of those. And uh, you can see the way that this is set up is they have two batteries in series and then you can have two banks in parallel. So this will actually run off of these two batteries here if you want. Or you can add an additional couple of batteries, these ones are charging, into this bank here for extra time basically. So um, what I did is I took this piece, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the video, but I actually took this cable, and I didn't figure there were any uh, electronic uh, or you know the wires close to the head, so I've taken and shaven that down with my knife, this piece here. And hopefully uh, when, when I reinstall this, it will allow that to, the Raspberry Pi to sit down flush so that I can get access to the HDMI and things like that. So let's uh, go ahead and put this back together. 
what I'll do is I'll show you the parts that it comes with and the parts that you'll need. So the DHAP Mini here is what you get. You don't get those batteries. You've got to order those. They have a link on Amazon. Now be careful because the link on Amazon that I went to uh, was not Prime. So if you're a Prime member, uh, you'll want to find the same batteries from the Amazon seller where you'll get them next day. I originally bought the set that came from the link and those are on their way here from China and have been for two to three weeks and so I'll just have an extra set when they finally get here so you get the DHAP mini and then you'll get this little uh, adapter or shuttle or sled or whatever you want to call it that holds the DVAP itself and uh, once I get this put together I'll show you how that works you are going to need your own Raspberry Pi this is a uh, Raspberry Pi 2 um, you'll need your own DVAP, you'll need your own uh, Wi-Fi dongle, and then the other piece that it comes with is it comes with this Allen wrench and the four screws which will hold down the uh, Raspberry Pi as well as the, uh, the little shuttle sled that holds the DVAP. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've just put the, uh, the little DVAP adapter in here. And I've only uh, put in one screw. You can probably see that there. It does look like everything's going to line up after I shave the uh, the power connector uh, plastic down a little bit. But the reason I'm showing you this is because if you put yours together, this is the uh, the orientation in which it goes. You can see that the uh, the cutout right here goes on the side where the HDMI is at. So. Um, the uh, the little shuttle holder sled uh, adapter whatever you'd like to call it it uh, it will really only fit in this way so you shouldn't have a problem if uh, if you're having a problem getting it to fit then try it the other way so before I get this all put back together I wanted to show you what I was using before I had the DHAP mini at this uh, anchor 13 uh, 13,000 milliamp hour battery it's used to recharge cell phones and things like that. It gives you ample power for hours and hours and hours. A Raspberry Pi and a case and the DVAP um, on top. With the cables, you can see this is rather messy, a little unwieldy. It's not big, and uh, the way that I kept this together was with some large uh, rubber bands around it, um, but you could also use zip ties. So at this point, I have the uh, entire DHAP Mini put back together. Just waiting for a couple of batteries to finish recharging before I put them in there and uh, and then we'll turn it on at that point. Um, one thing that I will show you is that the shaving down the, uh, the power cable inside appears to have lined up the connectors here. Um, it looks like the HDMI might be a little hard to get in there but I'm, I'm sure we can make it work. It's uh, much better aligned than it was before, so if you get one of these, you might uh, you might want to work on that yourself. You'll see the DV access point fits in here nicely. It's solid. I'm prying up on it, not hard, but it's it's down in there nice and solid. And the antenna sticks out exactly how you'd expect it to stick out. And when you close the case up, it all fits in here nice and tidy. And it's basically ready to go. Okay, so hardened power systems, they put up a real nice uh, label on the bottom here, Digital Ham Access Point Mini. It tells you what the power options are there, either 2 or 4 18650 batteries, or you can use external power from 5 to 36 volts DC uh, via the DC coax, which is 5.5 by 2.1, positive on the pin. This is made for the DVAP and the Raspberry Pi, and it's made in America. So you can see the on-off switch there. We'll use that in a moment, but I did want to show you that they've made it easy to access the the SD card. So that's the mini SD card. I think this one is a 16 gig, and I'm running the Maryland D-Star image. So that's on there. It's easy to get in and out. And once you power this on, you'll see that the voltmeter goes on. And it's uh, difficult to see the, uh, the lights anyway, but they actually did leave this little access port here so you could see the Raspberry Pi lights so that you know it's powered on and it's going to start to work. And then I also use the 
802.11n Wi-Fi dongle as a means to tell if it's up or running. It takes uh, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. I haven't timed it, but uh, you can see the blue lights flash there, and uh, that's going to get up and running here in a moment. You can always pop it open and see the the lights that are on the uh, the access point itself. There, you saw the green light, and you see the blue light is blinking. Generally, the blue light means that it's up and and ready to go. So that is the DHAB Mini. So uh, I've been using this here for a couple of weeks. I'm very happy with the performance as you can see. You can pick this up in one hand, take it with you. It's got a couple of really nice features like the voltage meter. And you can take this and put it in your car and power it via the power port back here. When you do that it actually bypasses the batteries inside so it doesn't charge or drain down on the batteries in any way shape or form. It runs directly off of the power and it's just a, a real handy device. Um, I would give it four out of five stars and the only reason that I take away anything from it is because it does seem to have a couple of uh, maybe early version manufacturing issues that uh, maybe hardened power systems will resolve. I know that they're getting some feedback on the uh, the battery holders and the tolerance with that. Remember I said uh, this one over here is actually broken off and then the issue here with the uh, power cable, which is um, a bit of a non-issue. I think I've resolved that on my own, and uh, I don't think it takes away from the usefulness of this device itself. So I'd give it a solid 4 out of 5 stars. If they resolved those two things, I would easily give this a full 5 stars. So thank you to Harden Power Systems. I'll leave a link uh, in the comments section or down in the uh, the description system of this video that tells you where you can go get one yourself. I ordered this directly from Harden Power Systems. It's about $120 uh, gigaparts and HRO are now selling these. I believe the price through them is uh, a little bit more, maybe $150. And I'm not sure if Harden sells them the direct anymore at this point. But if you have any questions, post them down in the comments, and I'll be happy to get back with you and help you out. Thank you for watching. This is Marty, W5MRM.